whole trip to do for it. For my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. For my old subscribers, welcome back. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed, don't forget to click the down and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at YSM Travel. So right now we're on James Island. So prior to colonization, this was actually used as a resting place for fishers. But then during European occupation, it was um, used as a military base and a place to keep slaves before they headed off to the quote unquote new world. It used to be used for administration, um, as I said, for military and of course economically for the slave trade. So yeah, this is the place. I'll take you on a little bit of a tour of it. Um, as we can see now, a lot of the place is destroyed from effects of climate change, uh, sea level rise. The sea is like coming and eating the island away and eroding it. And you can actually tell the difference because I was here a few years, not even, probably more than 10 years ago. And you can already see the effects of how the river is just like cutting into it. So you can definitely already see the differences in that. So during the days of the Atlantic slave trade, the northern bank of the river Gambia was the most affected part because according to, the, um, according to the history, during the days of the Atlantic slave trade, people were not living on the northern bank, southern bank. People were settling on this northern bank and also on the upper river, places like Georgetown. So this is why slaves were used to be collected from Georgetown, from this village, and also in the, um, in the inlands, about two, three miles away from this village. So this is why it used to be the most affected part. And Punta Kinti, the Mandinka slave warrior, was born in this the other village called Jufuri. So still they have the eighth generation in Jufuri. So um, uh, during the days of the Atlantic slave trade, about seven European colonial powers were living in this village here. Some were living on the island. Some established their trading posts on the mainland, and some established it in Jufuri. So this is why the trading post of the Portuguese, which is called San Domingo is also located in Jufure, so it's about 70 meters away from here.